The eucalyptus tree, commonly known as the gum tree in Zimbabwe, is an exotic species that is believed to have originated from Australia. Under the Rural Afforestation Programme, the tree was planted to provide farmers with meaningful livelihoods, providing fuel, wood and building poles. Unfortunately, commonly grown species of this tree are now under threat from three invasive alien pests, namely the bronze bug, the blue gum calcid and the red gum lerpsilid, all of which have proven deadly to the eucalyptus tree. To address the spread of the invasive species in Zimbabwe, the first line of defense is to protect the seedlings from diseases. Kubatana Isimba Nursery is among the 10 groups who went through the Training of Trainers course. Situated in Marondera, 75 kilometers southeast of Harare, the nursery focuses on tree planting and conservation. old plantation. In Weza district, 139 kilometers south of Harare city, lies the Nyamutsaka eucalyptus tree woodlot, which sits on just over a hectare of land. Here, more than 2,000 gum trees affected by alien pests are slowly dying, and with them, the livelihoods of the communities that have been dependent on this woodlot for the past 15 years. To address the threat posed by these invasive species, the Forestry Commission of Zimbabwe and the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations is helping the farmers to manage these fast-spreading pests by creating farmer field schools in rural communities. Ten farmer field groups were formed in five provinces of the country and a training of trainers course was held for solutions to control the pests from spreading. Uh, so we have been supporting government uh, in first an analysis of what those species are um, and secondly in providing uh, biological control agents uh, that would make it possible uh, to eradicate uh, the uh, the bugs uh, eventually. We invited farmers from different areas to come and visit other groups so that they exchange ideas and learn from each other. And we have found that it works better than uh, using the technical people. Because when farmers uh, have got ideas of their own and they try them on their pieces of uh, wood loss, then they, they have faith in those things. Equipped with the knowledge attained from the training, Mr. Masawi is teaching his farmer field school how to identify different problems, their causes, and how to address any threats. The Forestry Commission's Extension officers regularly visit the farmers, sharing good practices in the management of their woodlots. The farmers are taught how to examine the type of insects and pests in the woodlot and the damage they may cause. Farmers are also taught the purpose of putting a fire guard around their woodlot and shown how it works. In South Africa, they've imported a natural enemy that is called Celestoides necessary and it has been successful there. We have also imported it here to do research, to see whether it, it, it suits our conditions and whether it will not affect uh, our environment or other non-target species. Because once you have got a successful biological control agent, it means it can self-sustain itself in the field and manage the pest to levels that are not damaging. Thank you.